tonight on the news, presidential candidate of PDP, Atiku Abubakar, unveils running mate. Edo Skills Development Agency to deepen collaboration with media to engage more youths meaningfully. A very good evening to you. You're welcome to NTA Benin Main News. I am Auli Okolo. Now, the presidential standard bearer of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has announced the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Yokoa, as his running mate for the 2023 presidential elections. Timothy Yusuf reports that his choice of Okoa follows the recommendation of the Uma Damagun led committee set up by the National Working Committee to assist in the choice of a running mate. Meanwhile, Dr. Koa has promised to remain loyal to the party and the candidate. Now, Governor Gordon Obaseki has congratulated his Delta State counterpart, Ifanyo Koa, on his emergence as a running mate to the candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 presidential election, al Haji Atiku Abubakar. A statement by the governor says Governor Koa's emergence is one that will translate to victory for the party in the forthcoming elections. Describing the party's running mate as an energetic grassroots mobilizer, a two-time governor, senator, and commissioner, Abaseki says to rescue the country and place it on the path of progress and prosperity, Governor Koa has the needed experience that will guarantee victory for the party in the 2023 elections. To embark on this all-important mission to rescue the nation, Governor Basaki calls for unity among the people and party. Do you know that a good number of youths in Edo State are acquiring skills and creating pathway to prosperity in the creative, technical, entrepreneurial industry? They are also provided career guidance, job placements, as well as access to markets and finance. This is Katsi of the Edo Skills Development Agency, popularly known as Edo Jobs. An engagement session with managers and on-air personalities of media outfits in Edo State is a step by the agency to bring increasing awareness of various programs residents of the state can benefit from. Agatha Iguarujo reports. The Edo Skills and Development Agency was born out of Governor Gordon Obaseki's campaign promise in 2016 to create 200,000 jobs in the state. Acknowledging that not everyone can be employed into the state civil service, the focus of Edo Jobs are to develop highly skilled talents and provide job placements through its different programs in software engineering, fashion designing, digital skills, catering and event planning, agriculture and the creative industry. With streams of operations for almost six years now and success stories recorded, the agency believes it needs to reach out to more youths, hence this media engagement. The people of the press are close to our audience, they are close to the people of the state, close to our constituents, and we want to get feedback, we want to know how the people out there are generally observing and assessing the work that is doing. We also want to be able to create more awareness about our work, because there are so many opportunities that are coming up in the state right now that we need more people to participate in. We want more people to benefit from our programs. They were taken on tour of facilities where youths are undergoing training in various fields. The first port of call was the Edo Innovation Hub. I know a lot of things, like especially this industrial machine. I don't use it at all. And the Daisy Danjuba Creative Hub. This is a mobile set uh, for Rock Nigeria, collaboration for the state, giving opportunities for younger ones, the youths, to get engaged in the entertainment industry. The on air personalities are impressed with what they saw. Personally, I used to think that you have to be an indigent before you know you get anything from a good job. For me, it's mind blowing, uh, amazing. 
I never knew that they have gone to this level. Meaning, sorry to cut them, you just hear them say, they do this, they spend so, they create this and all of that. But now, it's here live. Both parties at the end of engagement agreed to deepen collaboration to reach out to more youths and get them meaningfully engaged. In Benin, Agatha Eguariojo, NTA News. Journalists in Edo State have been enjoined to always uphold the ethics of the profession, which must reflect not only in the conduct of their jobs, but also in their appearance and mode of dressing. The council was given when top officials of Edo State Ministry of Communication and Orientation paid a visit to Edo NUJ Press Center. Jude Abugu tells us more. The officials led by the permanent secretary were on the visit to see for themselves the transformation going on at the NUJ Press Center under the leadership of Festus Alehe. They commended the chairman and his team for giving the press center a facelift. You must have the ideas. You, if you are a leader and you don't have the ideas, you can't do anything. It is the idea that changed the world, and it is the idea that changes leadership, and you will to carry it out. The chairman who seized the opportunity to highlight some achievements of his administration assured the officials of the Ministry of the Corporation of Journalists in the state for accurate and balanced reportage of government's programs and activities. The moment after our election, 24 hours after that, we installed a free internet service in the press center. We journalists are still enjoying the day. And we have also installed um, CCTV in the premises with big cameras covering up past the press center. And we did also stop there. We are back with physical development. We innovated most parts of the present. While soliciting the support and partnership of other organizations and individuals in moving Edo NUJ forward, the chairman thanked Edo state government and other well-meaning individuals and organizations for supporting the union in some of its recent projects. In Benin, Jude Abugu, NTA News. Until Nigerians love one another and those at the helm of affairs rule in the fear of God, the dream of regaining the country's past glory may not be achieved. This formed part of the presidential address by the Bishop of Benin Diocese Anglican Communion, Right Reverend Peter Imaswen, at the first session of the 20th Synod holding in Benin. Gulag Naini reports that the Minister of Health, Dr. Saigi Haniri, and Governor Gordon Obasiki were among dignitaries that attended the Synod. Apart from being the most populous black nation in the world, it is on record that Nigeria represents 2.4% of the world's population, and this for Bishop Imaswe gives Nigeria an edge in all aspects of endeavors. How Nigeria gets entangled with the current challenges and ways to escape from the Holocaust is what is bothering the bishop and the synod. Put behind us all those corruption and every other thing. The authority to project for tomorrow. People who are, if we train our children where, we train our family where, our community where, our state and the nation, everywhere will be very conducive. We must go back to the drawing board. Where we have missed it, let God come to take us back. We cannot go back to Egypt. We are moving towards the promised land. This synod has reminded us again that there is no authority from anywhere except the one God has ordained. And that if we stick to it, the Lord Almighty will always be there for us. With the team, authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, delegates are hopeful of a favorable meeting. And it's a wonderful uh, program. Uh, because uh, this, the where you have Jesus is in charge. The power we have belongs to God, and that authority given to us, we must use it very well. In the prevailing situation today in the land, we need the grace of the Lord, and uh, in exercising this grace, we need the power of Jesus. Without waving, without divided opinion we will be able to sustain the faith of our, of our fathers. The next three days will afford delegates the opportunity to engage in a robust discussions on issues bordering on unity and advancement of the church as well as the nation at large. Good luck in any NT News. 
You can watch this news live on our YouTube channel, NCE Benin, and reach us on any breaking news and happenings in Edo State. The number to call is 091-5355-9648. You can also send WhatsApp messages to the same number. It's time for a break now. Please stay tuned. We'll have more reports for you shortly. Next time you visit the ancient city of Benin, two things will excite you. The warmth and welcome of its people, and of course, the class and style of its hospitality business. Randeki Gold, home of hospitality like no other. Located in one of the most serene environments in the ancient city. Truly classy and exquisite with world-class facilities. Fully equipped digital multipurpose hall with life-size ultra-high definition LED screen. 180 square meters king size swim pool with bubble bath. Enough to leave you breathless. The exotic Ariel's Bistro and Grill Restaurant with variety of continental dishes, especially some of the rarest delicacies you can find in town. Fact is, a visit will truly convince you that we are gold. Rendeki Gold is the gold wing of the prestigious Rendeki Royal Hotel at 6 Uhenui Street off Ihama and Boundary Roads, GRA Benin City, www.rendekihotels.com. Rendeki Gold, our hospitality is gold. Now available in Benin City. Yes, right here in Benin City. What? You don't have to travel anywhere. Come on, let it out. Talk now. Juba Ailey and Perkins Mechano Generator Showroom just opened in Benin. For real? It's right here with us. Brand new, authentic, reliable quality Perkins and Mechano Generators. From 15 kVA to 2000 kVA at Uye Technical Limited. Juba Ailey and Perkins Mechano Showroom, 83 Mission Road, Benin City. Big, big generators, when they make noise? Where the power industries, hotel, big offices, churches, mosques, big houses, and other plenty places. You got it. Different sizes and capacity at the most affordable price to suit your specific needs. With after sale services, without the stress of traveling anywhere, Beckins and Meccano unbeatable range of power generators now available at Uyi Technical Limited, Jovaeli and Perkins Meccano Showroom, 83 Mission Road, Peninsula. Professor Sonia Rumasale, founder of Mujama University Irua, and Professor Ernest Izamige, Vice Chancellor, Mujama University Irua. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, Governing Council, Management Staff, and Students, invite you to our official commissioning and the maiden matriculation ceremony of Mujama University Irua. Date, Saturday, 18th June 2022. Time, 10.30am prompt. Venue, the University Campus, Ijumabi Irua, Edo State. Special guest of honor and keynote speaker, His Excellency, Professor Yamil Zimajo, Vice President of Nigeria. Chief Host, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki, Executive Governor of Edo State, distinguished host, His Royal Majesty Al Haji W O Momodu J B C O N, the Ojirua of Irua and Chairman Board of Trustees. Inquiries email info at mujamayuniversity.edu.ng or visit our website www.mujamayuniversity.edu.ng. Mujama University, the mind of innovation. not just a hotel, it's a resort, a place where luxury, class, and hospitality meets. It's not just four walls, it's a reinvention, it's an idea that relaxation should be brilliant. We offer world-class services that makes the experience unforgettable. Hotel, you can't get it better. You're welcome back. Graduating cadets of the Nigeria Police Academy, KANU, have been challenged to raise the bar of excellence in policing the increasingly complex Nigerian society as today's landscape extends beyond land, sea, and air into the vast territories of cyberspace. President Muhammad Buhari, who threw the challenge at the passing out parade of the fourth regular course of the Nigeria Police Academy, KANU, said all acts of crime and criminality must, must be dealt with decisively. 
State House correspondent Adamu Sambu has details. With the provision of knowledge for service as major preoccupation, the Nigeria Police Academy Kano has been living up to his philosophy of producing a highly reformed, mobile, innovative, efficient, and civil police. At this colorful ceremony, attended by Governor Ablai Umar Ganduji, prominent traditional rulers from across Kano State and other personalities from all walks of life, President Muhammad Buhari commissioned 205 cadets of the fourth regular course of the institution established in 1998. And having been equipped with knowledge and skills, President Buhari said the young officers are expected to boost the capacity of the Nigeria police in service delivery. At a time, new technologies provided a platform for the emerging offenses to reach unprecedented levels. Many of the enemies you will confront will be permanently faceless or concealed, leveraging technology to wage warfare that has the potential to be even more destructive than anything the world has ever known. We must focus on prevention of cyber attacks against critical national infrastructure. He said in a world where insecurity is constantly evolving, law enforcement responses have to equally evolve, not just to keep up, but to stay ahead as government continues to demonstrate zero tolerance for crime and criminality. Those who take laws into their hands, who bear arms illegally, and who seek to profit from a climate of fear and insecurity will be decisively dealt with. The president specially commended the efforts and resilience of the Nigeria police and sister agencies for the giant strides recorded so far in the fight against the prevalent security challenges. He takes pride in the fact that the Boko Haram insurgency, IPOP, the Eastern Security Network, and Banditry, which posed a potent threat to the country, have been significantly degraded and normalcy returned to most towns and villages. These young graduates, Commandant of the College, AIG Ahmed Abdurrahman, had assured the President that the graduating officers are well prepared to discharge their duties with high sense of patriotism and sincerity as Nigeria faces what he called frightening challenges hampering the development agenda of government. A major high point of the ceremony was the presentation of a sword of honor by President Muhammad Buhari to the best graduating cadet officer, Rachel Olua Tosin Babarinde. 1,748 officers have so far graduated from the Nigeria Police Academy, Wodil Kano. Adam Musambo, NTA News. Of Defense Staff General Lucky Rabo has advised those vying for elective offices in the 2023 general elections to desist from instigating violence as the military will do everything possible to ensure a peaceful exercise. Defense correspondent Ismail Musa reports that General Rabo gave the council during his maiden visit to the bi weekly news briefing on military operations. It is the first time the Chief of Defense Staff will be using the platform of the Defense Media Operations to brief journalists. His objective is to provide an update on the operations of troops, especially as the country count down to the general election in 2023. We will not in any way stand aside and see those who perpetrate violence all because they are looking for political offices. And we're working very closely with the police and we stand ready to give them all the support that is necessary. Beyond elections, the prevailing security threat is of great concern. Our desire is to have every form of incident that will lead to violence and bloodshed to be prevented. In tackling the evolving security threats, General Irabo advocates an inclusive approach. From the defense headquarters in Abuja, Ismail Musa, NTA News. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has distributed sensitive materials for the conduct of the June 18 governorship election in Ikiti State. The resident Electoral Commissioner, Ikiti State, Dr. Tella Adeniron, reiterated the determination of the electoral umpire to conduct a free and acceptable election come Saturday. Kola Adebobui reports. 
materials distributed include ballot papers from EC8A research sheet and from EC8B. Resident Electoral Commissioner in the state, Dr. Tella, at the Nero stressed the determination of the electoral body to conduct an acceptable election as the distribution of the sensitive materials will fast track the electoral process. And this whole part of the transparency that we have been embarking upon in the Commission, we have the ballot papers, we have the papers, we have the resource sheets. Agents of political parties present at the event expressed confidence over a next ability to ensure a free, fair, and credible governorship election in the state. They even gave us the parking list and gave us the color each of the ballot papers by local government. The exercise implies the transparency of the INEC, which they have been uh, carrying on from the start. With the distribution of sensitive materials to various local governments across the state, the Independent National Electoral Commission is assuring peaceful, credible, and acceptable governorship election come this Saturday in Adwekiti. Fala Adiba Biji, News. Reports just reaching us, President Muhammad Buhari has approved an increase in freight rates of 10 naira per litre for petroleum marketers as part of efforts to augment the high cost of diesel limiting marketers from transporting petroleum products across the country. The Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority Chief Executive Officer Farouk Ahmed, who confirmed this, says he is optimist, optimistic that marketers will be magnanimous by keeping the country wet with petrol to eliminate the pockets of queues that resurface across the country. The increase is effective from the 1st of June 2022. We'll take another break now. Please stay tuned for the concluding segment of the news. University Irua and Professor Ernest Izabige, Vice Chancellor, Mudiame University Irua, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, Governing Council, Management Staff, and Students, invite you to our official commissioning and the maiden matriculation ceremony of Mudiame University Irua. Date Saturday, 18th June 2022. Time 10:30 a.m. prompt. Venue the University Campus, Ijumadi Irua, Edo State. Special guest of honor and keynote speaker, His Excellency Professor Emil Zibajo, Vice President of Nigeria. Chief host, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki, Executive Governor of Edo State. Distinguished host, His Royal Majesty Al Haji W. O. Momodu, JBCON, the Ojirua of Irua, and Chairman Board of Trustees. Inquiries email info at mujamiluniversity.edu.ng or visit our website www.mujamiluniversity.edu.ng. Mujamil University, the mind of innovation. This life I can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. Allow me to flex. This Hello there. Welcome to the newest lounge in the Asian city of Benin, Hyperion Lounge, a lounge with good food, music, drinks, karaoke, networking, exclusive for VVIP and a relaxed environment to meet the right people. Hyperion Lounge is situated at rooftop floor, which has a panoramic view of the city. Visit us at 76 Akakava Central Hotel, a Fedosa Signature, opposite First Bank, Benin City. For seat reservation, call 091-5311-1123. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Hyperion Central. Email info.hyperioncentral at gmail.com. All COVID-19 guidelines is strictly adhered. Hyperion Lounge. Exclusivity redefined. Guy, they make a wrong use of phone, Jari. Guy, why did you do your glow line now? Uh, Baba, calm down now. Uh. Not be doing sign in while they give me stress. They don't even block my life. But now, glow and I ain't legal simple pass now. Eh? Yeah, simple. Just dial star 109 has. Take way to do. See? Take, in my phone. And what if I don't get NIM before? Simple. Just go any glow word now. Once you go get your NIM. Yeah. Eh? Yes. Guy, I got plenty guys. We don't link their NIM. No. Until now, their phone still get blocked. Tell them when they go any glow word now. Once they go block their line. Eh? Yes, now. Nah. I know while I make I use your own phone for now. I go start my own later. Guy, talk plenty, talk. You know, say when I link my line, glow, that me plenty bonus. Eh? Yes, now. Nah. And when you link your own line, glow, that that's you up to 20,000 Arab bonus. 20,000? Yes, yeah, so 20,000 Arab bonus. Yo, yeah, fam. Take a vote. Remove! Yeah! And they're gonna lick my hand here! This bonus now for both you and existing customers, so
New Fiber Life Poppy, available in lemon, orange, and mango flavors. You're welcome back. We'll now take sports with Chuku Nonso Wambuizi. Athletics Championships in Oregon, USA, and the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Nigeria's Tobia Mosin edged out Jamaica's Brittany Anderson in a season best of 12.57 seconds to win gold in the women's 100 meters hurdles at the World Athletics Continental Tour Gold Meet in Finland. Having narrowly missed out on a podium finish at the last World Championships, Amosun will seek to turn the tide at next month's events. In the same vein, 2020 Olympic bronze medalist Essa Brumet leaped to a season's best of 6.92 meters to win gold in the women's long jump at the 2022 Citus meeting in Bern, Switzerland. Brunner, who had in 2021 set a new African record in women's long jump after she leaped an astonishing 7.17 meters at the Chula Vista Festival, is optimistic of podium finish for Nigeria at the upcoming events. Meanwhile, hostilities are set in the English Premier League following the release of the 2022-2023 football season features Thursday. Arsenal on a season opener fixture away to Crystal Palace Friday, August 5th. Everton against Chelsea are also built for Saturday, while champions Manchester City begins their title defence away to West Ham United on Sunday, with their city rivals Manchester United playing host to Brighton at Old Trafford. And in tennis, former world number one and 23 Grand Slam winner Serena Williams has confirmed her return to action at this year's Wimbledon Championship after being out for 12 months due to a leg injury. The 40-year-old tennis star was handed a singles wide card entry into the tournament, giving her another chance to win a record equally 24th major title. Williams will play doubles with world number four Ons Jabua of Tunisia at the Eastbourne International in the week before Wimbledon, which starts on June 20. 7th, 2022, with sports updates, Chukunon Songwa Boise, NTN News. News Bulletin, thank you for watching. Good night.